I'm in Singapore, and I'm about to go on stage in just a few minutes. I have not given a presentation for over a year now. I was in a little fender bender a while back, and so I took a little bit of time off. There's this sense of urgency now. The global dollar standard was put in place by a series of accidental events that were very fortunate for the United States because it gave us an advantage over the rest of the world. But our politicians over the past decade or so have abused this privilege as though it was their birthright. And now the rest of the world are turning their backs on the U.S. dollar standard. This is going to cause a financial calamity the likes of which we've never seen before, and it's going to be devastating for most people. I don't want this to happen, but the damage has already been done. So I'm going around trying to alert people and show them how they can protect themselves and turn this into a great opportunity for themselves. So there's always one result from what we are doing right now, expanding the currency supplies all over the planet. There's one result, and that is higher gold and silver prices. I love America, at least the America that the Founding Fathers created, and I'm hoping that people get interested in this so that they'll see that what made America great is the answer to our problems, to get back to free markets, free people, and sound money. Our own history proves that this is the road to maximum prosperity. We are entering a period of financial crisis that is the greatest the world has ever known. The wealth transfer that will take place during this decade is the greatest wealth transfer in history. Wealth is never destroyed, it is merely transferred, and that means that on the opposite side of every crisis there is an opportunity. The great news is that all you have to do to turn this crisis into your great opportunity is to educate yourself. I believe that the best investment that you can make in your lifetime is your own education education on the history of money, education on finance, education on how the global economy works, education on how all of these guys, the central bankers, the stock market, how they can cheat you, how they can scam you. If you learn what is going on and how the financial world works, you can put yourself on the correct side of this wealth transfer. Winston Churchill once said that the further you look into the past, the further that you can see into the future. This program is all about creating your own crystal ball, being able to gaze into the future, being able to change this crisis, the greatest crisis in the history of mankind, into your great opportunity. Donald Trump says gold is better than cold, hard cash. Donald Trump is renting out the 50th floor of 40 Wall Street for 10 years to Apmex, American Precious Metals Exchange, and accepting three 32-ounce gold bars as a security deposit. Well, sadly, we all know what's happening to the dollar. The dollar is going down, and it's not a pretty picture, and it's not being sustained by proper policy and proper thinking. But this was an opportunity, and maybe an opportunity to show people what's happening with the dollar so that we can do something about it. Mr. Trump is also ready to keep doing business in gold. And I never thought this would happen. This is the first time it's actually happened, and maybe it's going to set a trend. A trend that would turn gold from just a safe haven investment and into a viable business alternative to the U.S. dollar. Gold as currency could be making a comeback. Just this afternoon, the Utah House took the first step, passing a bill to recognize gold and silver, there it is, silver, as legal tender. This is something we have not seen in the USA in nearly 80 years. Utah may be just the first of 13 states moving forward with similar legislation. It is the first gold vending machine, and it's actually in a local mall. News Channel 5's Liz Nunez explains. Got any spare change, like maybe a few hundred dollars worth? How about a gold bar from a vending machine? I think it's great. I, I'm trying to push her in to let me buy one for somebody. Milton and Florence Schneider are the first people in the entire country to get their hands on the gold. Who do you want me to give, the, to, uh, give it to you? <laughs> the gold-to-go vending machines are already a hit in Europe, but this one in the Town Center Mall in Boca Raton is the only one in the U.S. We've seen the commotion. We're like, what's going on here? What is this? And then they unveiled it. It's a gold ATM machine, but I never knew that they could make it into an ATM. You know, or you can get it so conveniently. We have made this machine specially for shopping small 
gold gifts. I think the uh, best gift, they put it away and it'll mature later on. Right now the machine only takes cash, but they're working on making it credit card friendly as well. The company hopes to have at least 30 of these gold vending machines up around the U.S. by next year. In Boca Raton, Liz Nunez, WPTV News Channel 5. Anthony, what is going on? Yeah, Scott, it was the Dow's worst day since February. The market's been whipsawed all week trying to figure out just where the global economy is. It rallied 275 points yesterday when the Federal Reserve minutes showed the Fed intends to keep interest rates low. But it lost all of that and more today on worries about slowing growth in Europe, where some analysts now fear the possibility, Scott, of a double-dip recession. And as we were watching the Dow bounce around, it became the news today that China has surpassed the United States as the largest economy in the world. Waldorf Astoria Hotel on Park Avenue is where President Obama stays when visiting New York. In 1974, when China's future premier, Deng Xiaoping, first visited the U.S., he stayed at the Waldorf. Now, a firm led by Deng's grandson-in-law is buying the Waldorf. In the largest deal ever by a Chinese investor for an American building, Anbang Insurance will pay almost $2 billion to buy the hotel from Hilton. The Zimbabwean dollar is now worthless. Here in my village, the people are trading in gold, panned from the river. If you need cooking oil, you have to exchange with gold. If you need uh, millimeter, you have to exchange it with gold. If you need soap, you have to exchange with gold. Everything is gold, gold, no, no Zimbabwean dollar. Gold and silver is God's money. It's money made by God. And then in 1971, the U.S. government under Tricky Dick, Nick, President Nixon, took God's money and turned it into man-made money. Never in the history of the world has this ever happened. In 1971, the U.S. and Nixon convinced the entire world to replace gold and silver with paper money. This stuff. Cash is trash. No one, no one can pull. They already know. The European Union. Okay, okay. So if you can buy gold now, you buy it. But you want to get as much as possible and lock it down. You want to keep it. Don't sell it. And you notice that they're doing this all over the world. They're going all over the world just buying gold. So you believe gold is the most valuable as asset Gold right now. is the, it's going to be the foundation for currency. Wow. It's going to be more important than paper. Yeah. So what I understand is it's Zimbabwe right now. It's all over the world. Wow. But they will tell you that. I've done all my research on business. So that's why the government business. is trying to get it off the street. They want to get the street, yeah. So that's why they, they don't want the citizens court. to have gold. They don't want citizens to have it? They would, they would give you anything for your gold right now. You, you could deal. just giving it away. You're just giving it away. In the Bahamas, I told them on the radio the other day, you know, they got the same thing. They buy it from all the islands. Every island you go and try to give it to gold. Hmm. They want all the goals to be in Fort Knox. All. Hmm. They don't want no gold on the streets. So let me ask you this on the gold mine, that the investment that you made, because um, Dr. Jewell also makes investments with uh, windmills and different things like that. And so I'm becoming more educated. 